Hiya, I'm Elizabeth, a medical student and an artist living in London, and in this video I wanted to go through my top 5 podcasts for medical students. The first one has got to be Zero to Finals. This podcast is sort of a series of lectures delivered by this one doctor. His name is Thomas Watchman, and Tom, you are absolutely incredible. He has put together any sort of main medical condition, the basic physiology of it that you need to know, how to treat it according to NICE guidelines, and he's made these short summaries which are like anywhere from 2 to 20 minutes for every single medical topic that you can think of. If you just go through this podcast alone, it will literally be enough information to have you pass medical school. It's literally zero to finals. It is incredible. He has a website where he has every single thing he said on the podcast written out. He even has a book. I bought his book just to support him. I don't use books. I've literally never opened this. I just felt so guilty consuming his material and he's put so much work into this that I thought I have to um, just buy this book. The amount of information that I will retain from a 50 minute lecture is exactly the same that he will deliver in a three minute podcast. It is so so good. I used to listen to these all the time to fall asleep or if I'm in the bus or anywhere I'll just you know put his podcasts on. It's a great alternative to reading. If there's a topic that you're finding quite challenging to learn um, I would use his podcasts also. Another thing that this is really really good for is kind of structuring your medical knowledge. I found it so difficult to understand how things connect to one another and how topics connect to one another and you can use this website just to see which are the cardiology topics that you need to know for finals for example or you know rheumatology and just using the headings alone from his podcast would be valuable let alone listening to the whole thing. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah this guy's amazing. <laughs> My second podcast is called The Recess Room and it's kind of like an emergency medicine podcast where there are these emergency medicine doctors and these paramedics who just sit together and talk through different cases or different new studies that have come out or you know different changes of guidelines or things like that this is so so funny it's absolutely brilliant honestly the, the banter that they have in this podcast made it more of like an entertainment slash comedy podcast than a medical one honestly it's so good it's very good to listen to the way that these doctors talk because they kind of use that medical jargon and that very adult and professional way of speaking in medicine which is very very helpful if you're quite junior like me to kind of get used to it and then perhaps start to try speaking in a similar way i particularly appreciate the way that they approach studies I very casually talk about how robust these studies are and how they work and i find this very helpful to learn for myself but honestly if you are into emergency medicine or medicine at all i would definitely recommend listening to these guys because the banter is 10 out of 10 and i honestly wish that i was friends with them they're really really cool third one is called this podcast will kill you and it's honestly so so great it's these two women who sit down together uh, one of them has kind of a science background and another one of them has a history background and they will take different conditions for example toxoplasmosis they will really really break down these conditions in every single sense of the word they always start with a sort of real life case with what was going on around the time that this disease was happening and then they'll explore the historical background and then they'll get into the scientific parts and like how we cure it or how we investigated it or how we're trying to cure it and they just basically explore everything that has to do with this disease. These girls are so funny and very very entertaining and heartwarming to listen to and the way that they just explore these medical conditions from so many angles make it so so fun. They cover such a huge range of conditions from things that are very very common to things that are really really rare and if otherwise for example I wouldn't necessarily remember a lot about toxoplasmosis. The fact that I've heard of one our story on it means that there will be some things that I will just remember forever because of the depth in which they explore these things and how entertaining they make them. Honestly, I wish that all our medical lectures were done this way. The next one is Joe Rogan. If you've heard one podcast before, it's probably been his. He is like the god of podcasting. He's so well established and, you know, he just basically created the whole genre of entertainment. And although Joe does a lot of uh, interesting things on his podcast. A lot of them are quite medical. I think I've watched all of his podcasts that interview scientists. If you just Google Joe Rogan neuroscience, Joe Rogan medicine, Joe Rogan health, you will see him interview some people who are so, so, so incredible. And I think this is the value of podcasting because these people that he interviews are just 
insane, insane scientists that are in the forefront of discoveries and are incredibly, incredibly passionate about health don't necessarily have their own platforms. They're not a lot into social media, which is a whole other thing to them. And the fact that they get to be interviewed on this podcast means that he gives them the platform to share their information from their mouth, not from, you know, random journalists skewing this, the results of their studies. The thing that I love about podcasts with Joe Rogan is that because he is not a scientist himself, Himself, uh, no matter how passionate and in-depth his interviewees go into what they're talking about, they always come back to this baseline level of what Joe Rogan can understand, which is a level that most of us would be able to understand too. So I find this incredibly helpful. Um, it's so easy for me to recommend his podcast to other people. This way I've discovered some very, very incredible uh, scientists and that will lead me on to my fifth and last podcast recommendation, which is Rhonda Patrick. I absolutely love this woman. She is so incredible. She single-handedly got me into analyzing my DNA and kind of adjusting the way that I live or eat or exercise to to my genome, which is really, really mind blowing. She's honestly in the forefront of the discoveries of fighting against aging and lifestyle medicine. And she's just such an inspiring and amazing woman. The things that she does and the way that she portrays things are very, very in-depth and very high level medicine. So you do need to be scientifically literate to understand what she's saying. Sometimes I honestly struggle with the mentions of all the enzymes and all the biochemical pathways. I still find a lot of value in the things that she says. I would strongly strongly recommend her podcast they literally after i'm done listening to them they put me in such a headspace to want to eat healthier and exercise more and kind of be more aware of how i treat my body and how i plan my lifestyle and future she is so so inspiring in that way so yes those are my top five medical podcasts a few of these are also my top favorite podcasts of all time um although some of them are not <laughs> even though i've been listening to them for so long whenever i hear a good podcast i feel like oh my god i cannot believe that I am being let in on this conversation. This is absolutely insane. This is such good information. At some point in the future, I might include some podcasts on like broader topics apart from medicine. But if you are a medical student or if you hope to be a medical student, I hope that the ones that I mentioned today can kind of give you um, both that inspiration to follow the medical path, but also some information that will hopefully be valuable for your training and studying. As always, if you made it so far, thank you so, so much for spending this time with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to yourself and others and don't believe everything you think. Thanks. Bye.